Welcome to Design Diary, the podcast where you get to look inside my board game design notebook as well as what's going on inside my head. We look at a new word each day from the sense of mechanics, tone, theme, or inspiration for a full game. Today's word is... Palindrome. A word, verse, or sentence such as Abel was I heir I saw Elba or a number such as 1881 that reads the same backward or forward. Did you have fun with this one? Because uh, I know I, you were I excited this about one a lot. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had a couple thoughts about it if you want me to go first. Uh, yeah, I have something that's just weird and uh, <laughs> I'm, ex- I'm really excited about it, but I want, I'll, let's hear yours. Let's end on a weird note. There you um, go. So the, the big thing about the palindrome is it's the same forwards and backwards, but you don't want it to be boring if you already know where something's going. So um, the Hobbit uh, has a phrase, there and back again. And so it's talking about uh, Bilbo's journey to the mountain and back, um, but he encounters different things along the way there and back. And so I wanted to have a kind of journey for these players to, to take where they go somewhere, they come back, but it's uphill both ways, where they have troubles that they come across um, one way, and that informs their return journey. So let's say the first card that you encounter is some kind of witch. Since this is the first card that you encounter, she's going to be kind of weak. Um, She's not going to have that much going on, and you can probably defeat her handily. But on your way back, this same witch will be the last card that you encounter. And so she has increased in power by a lot. And so I'm imagining two rows of cards and the heroes basically go up one way and come back the other. And the way that these characters get more powerful is by uh, pairing up the cards on the return journey. So the one way is just one set of cards and then coming back is both set of cards. And so you have... um, Kind of two, you have the same journey there and back, which reads front and forward, um, but it's a lot harder coming back than it is going there. So that's what I had for a palindrome. So I, I went in a very similar direction, but different at the same time. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to preface this. Tell, <laughs> what's that? Tell me all about it. Okay. So um, I said the big thing I took away from this was was an arc with a high middle and an ending that matches the beginning. Um, mm-hmm. I, I didn't think about the uphill battle both ways in any, but I said, it's sort of like hitting a point and then grow, going in reverse, but not entirely that my word of the day on my note is action phases really large. And I said, we have a game that consists of four action phases. And these are very, four very specific ones, which are mm-hmm. explore, expand, exploit and exterminate. So it's a four X game. Uh, okay. and what I want is those four actions to be randomized before the game. When they're randomized, they're going to go in that order, and then they're going to go back again uh, at the end. So uh, okay. there's the there and back again. Uh, let's say they're randomized at expand, exterminate, explore, exploit, and then back down, explore, exterminate, expand. It's always seven phases. The first three are a reverse. Uh, they're like a mirror image of the last three. And the middle one only happens once. So every time we start one of these games, one of these is going to be our middle action. It's only going to happen one time. So let's say we have a game where we uh, exploit once. What does that Mm -hmm. mean? It means we're only getting resources in the middle of our game, and we're never getting them again towards the end. But we may be exploring first, and we may be exploring last. So every time you play, I expect it to be this just very different experience in that the same simple four actions are used, but... Being able to do one twice, and depending on where that happens, should I want that to change the game in a major, major way. So cool. I said, uh, first we expand, you pick the direction you're going to go in. Then we exterminate anyone within your reach, you can attempt to destroy them. Then we explore. So if we explore to unknown areas of the map, which I expect to be in the middle, just to encourage people to come closer to each other. Uh, mm. Then we export the resor- exploit the resources. And then we're going backwards. So we're going to try to find some more areas, but these will never be exploited. So there's different ways that you're going to you know, use those areas. And then discovery is important in the end because we're going to expand some more. Uh, Interesting. And then I said another game might start and end with a battle, and one may only have a battle in the middle. And I said that I need to explore all the middle, the middle positions and make sure everything's 
functional with uh, like each one just being once in the middle. And then I have to explore mm-hmm. all beginning and ends to make sure, you know, starting with a battle, starting with exploiting resources, like all that makes sense. But I just wanted uh, it to be, uh, I don't want everything to be ideal at every stage because I want it to be about being on your toes and adapting to this order. That's all interesting. I and I, I, in all caps, I wrote, this is my kind of game at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like, um, it does sound like your kind of game. Uh, what's that game that that uh, little tiny card? Ma- uh, Eight Minute Empire. Um, yes, it's, it's not like that, but it is like that. Mm-hmm. It's it's like that in that it's brief and to the point, but not. In, it doesn't play. You know, it's not exactly interesting. Like so you're 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 hoping for this to be a very small game rather than some kind of big sprawling epic where each phase takes like. I, Half an hour? No, I didn't expect it to be super small like 8-Minute Empire, but 8-Minute Empire hits its mark in in a brief way. So, like, the, the brevity of 8-Minute Empire, to me, is the cards. There's only so many cards. Mm-hmm. And the brevity of this is that there's only so many actions. So, okay. I expect it to be bigger. I don't expect it to be, like, four hours. I would expect it to be, like, a, I don't know, like a nine, like a... 60 to 75 minute thing where yeah i don't know i I don't expect it to be huge i don't do huge (laughs) so would you be able to like explore more than one space i'm just i'm just wondering about like yeah how many actions you get to take in each phase so the phase is like the phase is multiple turns i think Mm -hmm. i would believe that the phase is multiple turns where we're only doing that in these turns so okay. I don't think of it as we get seven turns, seven like movements or whatever, and the mm-hmm. game's over. I would ex- here's our explore phase. I get to do some explore. You get to do some. Then it comes back, and I get to do some and all. Now it's our expand phase. And I think of them okay. as a good, you know, maybe if they reach ten minutes, a seventy minute game, a ten minute phase where we all do some exploring, then we all do some expanding, and you know, it's all about prepping for what's coming, and you know what's coming. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. That's, that that's, sounds like fun. That's something that I would like to play. <laughs> um, nice. Have you played 8-Minute Empire? I have. Yeah, 8-Minute uh, Empire Legends, I think, is the one that I've played. I play it on my iPhone, whatever one that is. But it's to me, that's nice. that's an excellent game. Like, I love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for something small yet meaty, I guess. Yeah, that's where I'm at. I love small yet meaty. Um, mm-hmm. It's not super small yet, meaty, but uh, have you played Inish? No, heard great things. Yeah, that's one where it's it's similar. It just has three three different like win conditions, and they're all like you get into seven lands, you get seven people into one, and you beat seven of your opponent or something. And to me, those like getting to the hook in in a couple sentences like that, I love. And and but that's another one. It's 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 pretty meaty. It's not super super long, but. It's it fits that same vein for me. Yeah, with your with your phases, you would have to, yeah, you would have to balance the phases between each other because you wouldn't want to end a phase and say, okay, these next two phases aren't going to help me in the game. Why do I still play? Yes, exactly. That's the thing. Like, you have to have multiple ways of to to win. Basically, you know, mm-hmm. each one of them has to either give you points or give you something in, in order to win. But if you end the game on expanding and you're going to places that you'll never see there mm-hmm. has to be some sort of reward for research or or for discovery you know there it all has to it all has to make sense but that's the trickiest one is like i'm just going to spread out in my last turn for what like i'm never going to do anything here so there has to be things right. that you find when you get there and those things that you find need to help you and what i expect is in that phase you're also using the resources that you gained earlier uh, if mm-hmm. if expand happens after the resource phases, so they all have to, you know, be they synchronize with each other in a, in a way that makes sense and and can work in any order. Mm-hmm. It's weird. Nice. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, it sounds interesting to me. Yeah. Um, otherwise, Palin, I thought of a word game, and I I, I had to stop right there. I couldn't <laughs> like. I just, I couldn't even figure it out. I thought about like, not even just simply like words backwards, but words just um, 
like bookending something. So mm-hmm. uh, a word game where let's say the word that I have is um, Sunday, the word Sunday, and then something is in the middle of that, and then Sunday is after it again. And it's not quite a palindrome, but it was just that that sort of before, middle, and after. Mm-hmm. But that's okay. you know I that's yeah, I had word, a... word games are not my <laughs> my uh, focus. No, whose focus are I have not specialized myself in in word games. Have you played Wordsy? Uh, no, by Gil Hova. Yeah, that's one where it may um, it may refresh any sort of thoughts about word games. It's great. Mm. Well, I am looking forward to playing any of those games. <laughs> cool. All right. So um, I will we'll, we'll end this. I'll secretly tell you next week's word, and we'll do it again. Yay. Cool. Talk to you later. Thank you. Bye.